So I'm speaking from one of the accounting and consulting firms. You know. I'm enough. So there's so much of hype now, like a year ago, our clients, our folks, who don't know about blockchain, and now I get into a meeting and everybody's like, this is it, I've read so much about it, but then I'm wondering, is this the hype that's kind of building into it, and I see proof of concepts being done, but if they are, if they are to be scared that it's at least five years away, that's what I kind of see, it's like would blockchain survive that long, and uh, what would it take fundamentally, one or two examples or events that will actually make it mainstream and people will start talking real things rather than just really hype about it. Um, I think you're absolutely right. The hype around blockchain is entirely out of sync with uh, the actual implementations. Um, with one exception. And that exception is the Bitcoin blockchain. And you could also say perhaps with two exceptions, because Ethereum is also a now have, has become a, a large scale uh, viable production system with with still some growing pains, but definitely something to watch carefully. So there are a couple of really important blockchains in the world today, and uh, other than that, we're seeing an enormous amount of hype. I think part of that represents just kind of the general economic uh, conditions. Um, if you have a lot of money and in many uh, corporations today, a lot of money is the is the situation because of uh, free money and stimulus and low interest rates that we've been in now for uh, six or seven years. What are you going to invest it in? Equities? That's a bubble. Real estate? That's a bubble. Student loans? That's a bubble. Auto loans? That's a bubble. Bonds? That's a bubble. Corporate bonds? That's a bubble. And so, one of the problems we have in all of the Western developed economies is that we have a lot of money chasing very little yield, and that tends to create these um, exuberances. And so people are looking at blockchain and say, okay, maybe fintech is the place where we might get some yield. Um, and I think the investment has far outpaced the reality on the ground, which will eventually correct. But in, if you look at the broader space, you have to realize there are some real blockchains changing things in a very real way. And uh, those blockchains are the open, transnational, borderless, open access, open innovation, permissionless blockchains, uh, such as Bitcoin and Ethereum and others, that are setting the stage for real change with real applications today. A lot of hype, but also a seven-year experiment that refuses to die, continues to deliver more and more innovation every year, and will continue to surprise people. <laughs>